Hey, what's up everyone? We're playing Factor Fiction. Today we're gonna figure out if production gave us a real prompt or a fake prompt. Let's begin. Gee! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fact number one, what is now known as the World Series was originally played after the Thanksgiving Day Parade until 1957 when the NFL began running a Thanksgiving Day football game instead. I'm gonna put Drew because I wore a May Day Parade shirt today. I have uh, nothing. I have no thoughts behind my what brain right now. I, what I, I, what's baseball season? It's like spring and summer. I don't think it's true. Like oh, that's a fantastic point. <laughs> you better erase that. <laughs> I'm gonna cheat as well because he made a good point. Yeah. I like his point. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying your points out loud? Let's go I team. <laughs> Guys, we got this. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. We Everyone say thank you, Sean. <laughs> thank you, Sean. Oh, I'm the only one who did it. Why but I also thought it was fiction. I just didn't explain that I thought it was fiction. <laughs> Good, Good job, job Chesney. I just go on my instincts. Yeah. I copied her. <laughs> I listened to this turkey I drew. <laughs> does he whisper to you? He does. Oh, Fact God. number two. In 1953, a massive surplus of turkeys ordered by Swanson's for Thanksgiving led to the creation of the first TV dinner. That actually like, sounds kind of funny. Like the, like the tray TV dinner? Yeah. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna put true. That sounds, that sounds crazy enough to be real. I would. I I a surplus of turkeys. A surplus. I'll say. I'll say it's true. Right? Yeah, it sounds like it would be. I true. would think I mean, that it would guys. also be a surplus of single men. <laughs> 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 that gremlin laugh. Has everyone got their answers locked in? In 1950. Yeah. Ah. It's back. Yeah. We're killing it. We're killing it, oh, killing we're it, killing it, it guys. guys. Prepared meals uh, ready to cook had limited availability since 1945, but in 1953, an overorder of over 500,000 pounds of turkey led the company to package it in an aluminum tray with cornbread dressing, gravy, peas, and sweet potatoes for 98 cents a tray. 98 cents. I know that's, that's that sounds true. Like <laughs> sometimes, like companies, like when they make a big mess up, they make an explanation smart. for what. Okay, they do. but who was like? I'm sorry, boss. I kind of accidentally. <laughs> I kind of ordered 500,000 more pounds of turkey. I, I just know, I added one more zero on accident, you know? <laughs> the it question happens. is did they get promoted or they, did they I get know, fired? That's yeah. the Names of turkeys that have been pardoned by the president include RJ for robust one. and <laughs> juicy, I've heard Woody, that. and Harry. <laughs> That's names? gotta be true. No, I don't know about the names, well, but I'm course, gonna. Yeah, the president juicy. pardons a turkey every year. Yeah. That sounds true. But, I don't know. That's the names could be wrong. That's I'll say true. it's fact. I'm naming him Plump Juicy now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna name him Plump and Juicy. I will yeah, say, uh, RJ is one turkey. His name yeah. is Robust, Robust and, juicy. and Juicy. That's why he's Plump and Juicy. And that's he's why PJ. it's true. Uh, quit true. Yeah, that's exactly why it is true. Facts yeah. on facts on facts. <laughs> That's Yay! fact. We are killing it. The first two turkeys were pardoned by the Reagan administration, and the last was by the Clinton administration. How, much, how long did they live? Uh, I so at that time, I think they were give, given to like petting zoos, uh, for the most part. Now they they're oh, given into like sanctuaries that. and stuff more um, stuff that's more like humane. So turkeys that are bred for meat consumption actually don't have a long lifespan. Usually their bodies can't handle the amount of meat that they grow, and it's really sad, I know, because I had one as a pet. Yeah, it's not great. Honestly, the passing away of them at a healthier state is probably more humane than letting them survive to not be able to walk. It's so dark. So you're saying the president should execute turkeys instead of- <laughs> Yeah. I, I think that if they, if they pardon a turkey that is not bred for meat consumption, yes, it's great, but a meat bread turkey, it's a very sad end. Like the saddest thing. I have flashbacks. 
Don't cry, Chesney. Fact number four. Jell-O is the first brand to have a Thanksgiving-themed television ad. There's been too many facts in a row. This one's mm -mm. hard. There's too many facts in a row. We got that one right. So, There's two facts in a row. You yeah. don't think there's a third fact in a row? I, I, I have a weird feeling that this is false. I'm gonna go false. But I, I could be wrong. Yeah, I feel, wait, wait, I feel like this. I, I feel like oh, no. this is wrong because, like, there's no way. I feel like I'm like this is, I feel like I would have heard of this. Right. Me too. At one point in my life. I don't hear about anything, so <laughs> I live under. Sean, do you think otherwise? Just like Patrick. I yeah. I just feel like either brands would have a Thanksgiving theme to add. Like, okay, if I get it right, you guys gotta give me a kiss. I don't <laughs> Except for Fernando. <laughs> Except for Fernando. <laughs> on the lips. Jello's not a thing. I'll take it on the lips. You I'll got your that. answer locked in, Sean. <laughs> I'm locked in. Yeah. Fiction. Hey. I knew it. We couldn't really verify what it was, Damn it, but we kiss. think it was the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs> we could still give you a kiss, Mari. Okay, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> get one now. Oh! <laughs> I left lipstick all over her face. <laughs> <laughs> That's staying on my face. <laughs> Scooby-Doo has regularly been part of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, except in 1973, where parent groups campaigned against the Great Dane for his ties to the occult. This saw him removed for the year before coming back two years later due to a rise in popularity. All I read was Scooby-Doo and I said, fact. <laughs> That's all I fucking read. Scooby-Doo is real, I know him. <laughs> I, this, this, is, this, this sounds like something that would happen in real life. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is true. This is weird enough to be true. Y'all locked in. Yeah. We were so passionate. It's fiction. Oh. Oh. It's the days. <laughs> it's the, the Productive, year. Productive, stop flipping me off? Who gets mad over Scooby-Doo? There weren't even monsters in the old ones. What do you mean? Yeah, there were, there were oh, monsters, but they were just like an old guy in a mask. Yeah, but, I mean, like, that's real terrifying. estate agents are monsters. My, yeah, those are monsters. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin <laughs> argued that the turkey was a more respectable choice for the national bird than the bald eagle. I've heard it's, this. I, yeah, I feel like that, yeah. Probably, I mean, the bald eagle eats dead, I like, like roadkill and stuff. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but turkeys are cannibalistic. <laughs> we got some dark turkey I, facts from Jesse over here. My dad's a biologist. I, I know this is true. I was reading. I was reading up on this one. Uh -huh. Fact. Fact. Franklin wrote, "The bald eagle is a bird of bad moral character. He does not <laughs> yes. get his living honestly. He, he, he is too lazy to fish for himself. Uh -huh. In comparison to the bald eagle, country. the turkey is a much more respectable yeah. bird, and with all a true original native of America, he is besides, though a little vain and silly, a bird of courage." <laughs> I, that sounds like me. Fact. I actually think that you know that was a decent uh, argument for the turkey. Good mm -hmm. bird analysis. But I think people were like, "But he's too tasty." <laughs> Imagine Aww. we had the turkey as our, our <laughs> we wouldn't eat Thanksgiving. I know, that's what I was saying. Everyone was like, no, he's too tasty. Or we know. still would eat them. Fact or fiction, the National Wild T Turkey Federation features a turkey call championship that comes with a prize pool of contestants. I get that one right. That sounds true. That does sound true. I don't know what's true. Either that or the National Wild Turkey Federation. I think Something that, to do with whiskey. Yeah. I haven't been keeping track of the facts and fictions, though. I'm voting facts. I'm <laughs> copying Sean. <laughs> I don't have my own answers. <laughs> it's fact. Oh, uh, yeah! I it was true! I, oh, man. She, she did think it was true. I was just like, no, nah, that sounds way too real to be real. <laughs> It is. It, it is, is a, real. It's a real thing. There's a. We watched videos of people doing turkey calls on stage in front of other people earlier. There's a hundred dollar entry fee, and then whoever wins gets like the pool prize of that one. And then there's a bunch of different like. I never got any uh, Fernando, can you do a turkey call as if you were in contest to win potentially twenty five thousand dollars? Twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> You probably went out of frame there, but I that, told you that, was a noble, that was a noble effort. <laughs> no, it's We've got a, out of frame. We probably have an interesting frame of that. <laughs>
There's been too many trees. <laughs> yeah, there has been too many trees. <laughs> also, that sounds wild. What do you think? What do you think? Just... Jingle you think? bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all to Thanksgiving. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I don't know about picking up girls. Right, that doesn't sound right. right. You know what? Sleigh? Yeah. Jingle, jingle your bells? I'm only saying true, but you don't. You, 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 jingle your bells. Then get a sleigh. You locked in? Locked in. Yeah. Fact. Let's go! The original lyrics were written by James Lord Pierpoint with Jingle Bells referring to sleigh bells in New England sleigh races. Here's a removed verse. This verse was removed whenever uh, Bing Crosby made his Jingle Bells uh, Christmas album. It says, now the ground is white, go it while you're young, take the girls tonight and sing the sleighing song. Is <laughs> Wait, what is that? <laughs> Just get a bobtailed bay. Uh, 240, 240 as his speed, hitch him speed. to an open hitch sleigh, and crack, you'll take the lead. You'll take the lead. Yeah, I can hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. So, should we sing that little I, No. I'm good. That sounds awful. That's all your questions. Who, uh, what, what is, what's everyone's score? Uh, um, I have... I have six. I have five turkey tails, and I might have miscounted. I, I have six. How many questions two. did we ask? Eight. Eight. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, then I, I might have six. I, I have think six. I miscounted at some point. Six? So, uh, so we've got one more question. This might be a five-way tie for first place. <laughs> Thanksgiving was originally a state holiday, not recognized on a federal level until its late adoption by Ohio, uh, whenever Taft established it as a federal holiday. Ohio. Ohio? I can't read. Can you read it again? No, nah, Ohio didn't do anything great. But the reason it wasn't a federal holiday was because Ohio didn't recognize Thanksgiving until it was adopted on a federal level. Oh, Ohio didn't recognize it? Yes, I'm Okay, sorry I about changed that. my answer. I'm gonna be real. True. I can't see the question, so I need you to say it again. Holiday. I still didn't hear you because y'all tapped my glasses, but I'm gonna just put true <laughs> because I put true before you even read the question. You know what? Well, I feel so much pressure right now. I trust my partner. 100%. You shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. What's your answers? I got true. Fact. Uh. It's false. Oh. Huh? What? It's oh, actually yes! false. Uh, we, yes! we we made this up Yo, because we thought it was uh, we thought it would be crazy that Thanksgiving was adopted that late. Thanksgiving actually wasn't a holiday until 1870. Wait, was there something to do with Abraham Lincoln? My brain was like something. No, it did, it didn't have to do with Abraham Lincoln. It had to do with uh, J Grant. Grant was the oh, one really? who um, made Thanksgiving a federal holiday. Grant, Grant from, from the, the channel? channel? No, yes, yes. <laughs> Grant went back in time and, yeah. and altered like, the course of would, history like, by being would. at the first Grant. Thanksgiving and then establishing it 300 years later. He would. That sounds like a good I, had six <laughs> I just realized we match outfits as well. Right. You wanna grab everyone's points? I got seven. I guess I got six. I'm, Ooh, I think I, I miscounted. Eight. I think I might you have, have seven. seven. Look. You see? Mari, how did you eight? go from six to eight? I don't know. It just happened, you see? Mari questionably has eight. Did Mari win? Savannah? I have six. Sean? I got six. Okay, you guys decide. <laughs> uh, I have seven. Okay. I, think we I, I guess Mari wins. Everybody. I think the chat needs to count for <laughs> us, please. Production. Oh yeah, wait, uh, Mari, didn't you have six points whenever we went into the last round? Because we were all, you were all tied at six, weren't you? I had five points. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> I win. Yeah, hey, I, win. I will. I will tell Should you how to make pumpkin pie if you give me two extra points. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, um, let's let's leave with turkey calls. Okay, guys. I, I know how to make it. Oh, bye. Subscribe. <laughs> Do I look good like this? Thanks for watching. If you want to see another one of our videos, click right here and here. This one's probably the good one. Bye, subscribe and like.